I've been store manager for a number of years with the company I was with. Culture where I work is, is evolved over the years to where you have to be plugged in 24 hours. And I just like throw up my hands and say, what's the point of trying to get away from here? It had been very stressful at work and I had a lot of personal issues going on at home that I was neglecting and I just kept working. And then, um, and then of course, my wife started having problems there. Um, right after that, she passed away. So it created more struggle at home with the children and myself. It was, it was a hard loss. Instead of giving them the time and giving the family the time to, to heal, I went right back to work. I did the only thing I knew what to do. I just, I was about to break down. It was, it'd been a horrible year, so. Finally, I took a week off and it started that weekend. I was seeing signs on the road. I was, I was seeing signs everywhere. I was getting signs about faith messages. And all of a sudden, I don't, they were there, but I just started reading them. Tuesday night, I woke up about two in the morning and the movie, The Passion of the Christ was on. And I watched it and I watched it and I didn't know that story. And I just, I, I fell apart. I just, I could not handle that. And Thursday, I went down to the driver's license office and I'm sitting in the middle of the room. And this fellow walks in the door and he just stood there, looked around at the crowd. And for whatever reason, he walks around the crowd, came down the aisle and he handed me a card. And it's one of those little cards that said, you know, how to accept Jesus in your life to be saved, thinking he's gonna give them out to everyone else. Well, then he turns around and walks out the front door. Finally, Saturday came and rolled around. And I had to go back to work. And I'll never forget, I was in my office and um, one of my assistant managers came in and said, Kevin, can I close the door? Can I have to tell you something? God's been talking to me all week. He's wanting me to talk to you. He's wanting me to reach out to you. And I, I, I got up my grandma keys and I ran out the door and I ran out the fire exit. And I walked behind the building and I was just, I was in tears. I'm like, what is going on? Why, why is this continuing? Finally went down to the lake. I went, walked down there in the rain. And I, I just, um, I put my hands up, I fell on my knees, I surrender, I give, I'm yours. Through church, the small group, baptism, I mean, the things you learn along the way, the anger I used to have, the frustration I used to have, and everybody used to see it, they would see it at work, they'd see it at home, it's gone. I think I'm headed in the right direction in life where I'm supposed to be going, uh, to reach out and help other people. But, um, it's just, it's changed my life. It's the right thing. It's this beautiful 